Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Brian, and today we're going to be playing The Walking Dead, the final season. We're going to be finishing the first episode, and if you're new here, or if you're just waiting, and you haven't hit sub yet, go ahead and do that, it'd be a great time to do that, before we get started. And uh, you know all the other things, like, comment, share, share with a friend. Share with someone you don't like. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Just share. And if you're watching on Facebook Gaming, you can do all the same things there. You can't sub, but you can like, follow, and share with a friend or, or someone you don't like either. Anyway, all that being said, we're going to jump right on into The Walking Dead, the final season, episode one, the second half. I'll uh, see you as soon as we get the game going. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. It's in here. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These are the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. What'd you find? EJ something else. It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? <laughs> Marlon? <gasps> Stay back. Said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See, she's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Here, I'll show you. Do you trust me? <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, 
That was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and you need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. That's smart. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lights? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die. Or Disappear. I just. <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we could stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, 
As long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. At least he gave you a high five instead of a punch to the crotch. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. No one can afford to be short-sighted. You have to have a backup plan if you want to survive. Damn right. <laughs> you think you're clever. But you think way too small. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. Bit one or more. like a walker pinata cut it down fix the snare and let's go i will i will eventually if you want food for the kid i could use a hand or you can mess around with this idiot and starve it's up to you oh you can stand so dramatic Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. You a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Last Let's hope that I'm a good shot. One of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. Get the next time. I saw some others run this way. Such a pain in the ass to hit. Clem, Try again. Clem, come here. Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why'd it get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? 
Ah, uh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I guess this is it. Hopefully next time there are more targets. And maybe some sharper aiming. Yeah, sorry. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. <laughs> it's kind of a douche. That's great. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Quim, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. You don't know that? Oh, maybe you do. It's one we're building. Holy shit! This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. Climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. 
Maybe there's another way in. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Louis, I vote Louis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! What about AJ? I mean, what about AJ? What's he gonna do? I wasn't sure about that. So far, not dead. So far. There's no one we're ready. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. There's some food still left. Yes, these will be perfect. Flynn, look. Try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <sighs> Morning, AJ. Come back. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand slowly. Don't yell, don't try anything. 
I won't hurt you. I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel, and I'm hungry as hell. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. We're a big group, strong people, well armed. Uh huh. Right, right. And this big, strong group sends the kids out to do the risky work. Interesting. Now, I want to fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. At least we got food. You are not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sam, Mitch. Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> this is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? 
You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well... At least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. Eventually, we have to have big bads. See you later. It's gonna be the bad guys of the season. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scared. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too, but it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie would be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again sometimes i draw the walkers the way they probably looked it's a pretty neat kid sometimes i draw minnie and sophie the way they probably left them but sometimes i draw this too can can i be there sure you want to be there too i promise i'll draw you well Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Hey, here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow.
it's clear. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. <laughs> you got in bed, by yourself. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't hit any. It's Maybe nice next time. Driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good for now. But places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. But there. <clears throat> put the little boy's drone on the wall. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> good work. And thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Sounds like someone arguing. No, it's getting quiet again. Probably better just to go back to your room. According to the map, there should be a 
another entrance to the basement around here. Find the cellar door. I don't know that I really want to. But I guess if there's something shady going on with these people, we need to know. Here we go. Two. Okay, we've looked at the lock about three times, so I guess we need to find something to break it with. I mean, they're gonna hear us. Break the lock. What are you doing down here, in the dark? Rudy and I were just talking. Let's get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station, we got history. Rudy! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just, she's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Dead sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what she did. What'd you say? Shit. I'm sorry. Shit. What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're going to be okay. I, I promise. God damn it. Help! Do not to say it. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it 
It's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Mark won't kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make them go away. Like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> That changed fast. Body's gone. Did she turn that fast? She's going to jump out at any minute. Wow, she's right behind her. That was pretty intense. <laughs>
that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Isn't it? Shane, I don't believe in those. The first thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. You have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Let her get in your head. Hey, I didn't want you here. She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer. I know you know bullshit. You can smell it a mile away. And you're telling me you buy his story? difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. I'm gonna shoot them all? You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth. I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expensive. You dick. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them. Staves, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. 
didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you, all of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. If you really think... AJ Why? That's the end of episode one. Even 56% of others kill the walkers. And most people went fishing. Only 29% and me let him sleep under the bed. Most people push the doofus out the window. Most people uh, turned uh, violet against Marlin. Whipped him heartbroken. She headed down to Tennessee. And we missed three collectibles. Well, that's the end of the first episode, I guess. I will uh, see you next time. Thank you. If you liked the video, make sure you click on one of the thumbnails below. You can see some more great content from the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe. See you next time. Thanks, everyone.